guys, it's Elisa here, or the Diamond Stitcher, as I go by on YouTube and Instagram. Hi, welcome if you're new, welcome back if you are coming back. I really appreciate that you're taking time out of your day to take a look at this short video. Um, I recently bought two diamond paintings from Amazon.com. Um, I'll show you the boxes here. I just finished an unboxing of them. Um, these are from Amazon.com from Diamond Art Club. And each of these came with a different toolkit. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to film a short video because I often see people posting this clear toolkit on the left upset that they didn't get this one on the right. So I thought I would tell you why you might um, get one versus the other. About a year ago, um, they upgraded their basic toolkit over here to this upgraded one that has a few extra goodies. Now, you may still get, uh, you may still receive a Diamond Art Club kit that has this old toolkit in it because there was a period where they had to phase them in. They already had a bunch of these produced and it's a waste of money and a waste of resources to just throw them all away. So um, there was a period over a few months where they were phasing them in. Um, so it was kind of random whether you got this toolkit or you got this upgraded one. Now, if you're new to Diamond Art Club and you might be purchasing some of their um, older designs that are in stock on the website, you may still get this old toolkit. It just depends when that kit was restocked and when those kits were produced. That's what it comes down to. This toolkit still comes with absolutely everything you need. Um, they just added a few extras in the other one. So let's take a quick look at this one. If this is the toolkit you got. Now this is a, a round toolkit. There is a slight difference from round to square toolkits and I'll show you in a little bit. Now in this one, you're just gonna get a bunch of baggies thrown around. Um, a lot of people use these baggies for leftover diamonds, um, store them, you can write the DMC number on them and put them away uh, for future use. Um, they, are, they are nice bags. They usually don't send enough unless you're getting a snack size kit. There's usually not enough to kit up into. Um, they do send this small plastic boat. They've since upgraded their trays twice. They do send a basic pen with a single placer. Just one multi-placer in this one, it's a four. Multi-placer is used to pick up more than one diamond and you can stick it in the other side of your pen. Two plates of wax, um, no holder for them. Um, you, this wax, a little goes a long way is what I'm trying to say. You don't need much, so this can last you quite a while. There's plastic film on both sides, so make sure you peel that off before you try and load your pen. Um, to load your pens, if, if you are brand new and you haven't done a kit yet, you literally just take your single placer here and you stab it. I give it a few twists. And then there you go, it's loaded. Make sure that it's level there. If you have too much in your tip, it's just gonna uh, cause a residue on your diamond painting. To fill this side, I do this, oops, I dropped it. Hold on, where'd it go? There it is. Um, you do the exact same thing, uh, you stab it. I give it a few shakes, a little bit of a rocking motion just to make sure that it cuts away from the uh, rest of the wax. Make sure it's flat on top and off you go. If your pen, if you've been diamond painting for a little while and your pen is no longer picking up diamonds very nicely, you probably need to add more wax, okay? I would store this. If you do get a toolkit like this and there's no container for the wax, I would, I would store it in one of these Ziploc bags. Um, if it's left out to air for a long time, it might dry out. So I would just put it in one of these handy bags um, so it stays fresh comes with a little squishy that goes over the pen. I can't push it on due to my, um, my hands don't work very well. So it does slide on there nicely and you can um, use it to diamond paint away. So this is the old tool kit. It came with a very basic tray, wax and pen. That's all you really need, okay? Let me push that to the side. This is the new upgraded tool kit. So all the new releases that Diamond Carp <laughs> sorry, Diamond Art Club is releasing. We'll come with this new, new tool kit now. I'm trying to talk too fast. Um, you'll get this new tool kit. Again, if your kit you bought on the website was produced a while ago, you may not get this, okay? It's not personal. They didn't keep it from you. Um, it's just the luck of the draw, okay? Let's see what's inside this one. This was a square tool kit. Comes with a bag of baggies, same baggies, but in another bag. 
so they're not all over the place. Again, basic pen. This is a sparkly one. Um, they come in random colors. Now, I did load this pen already, so that's why you're seeing some pink wax. Single placer, multi placer. This one's a four, but they also send a bigger one now. They also send a seven, seven placer, which is nice. These Diamond Art Club plastic tips are the thin ones. A lot of people uh, say that they find the thin tips uh, provide better placement for them. Uh, a squishy as well that goes over the pen. You're going to find washi tape. Again, random. Super sticky. Um, there's a few different ways to use washi tape. People will either put it around the border of a diamond painting. Let me just pull this one here. So around the border, sometimes there is overhang of the glue. Some people put washi tape down to prevent any, any dust or, or uh, fibers from sticking to that outside edge. Um, other people use it to section off their painting. So they'll literally make grids, horizontal and vertical lines, and then cut the, the plastic paper off and, and work on that section, okay? They're, they now uh, provide this little heart caddy for their waxes. The lid is not secure, like it comes off very easily, but it does provide a seal. Um, again, two plates of wax. It, it lasts a long, long time. At one point, I had a huge drawer full of it. This is another neat new thing that they've come out with are these cover minders. So they are random. A cover minder is, has this, this um, I, I, I can't think of the word I'm looking for, but this outer kind of resin, resin piece um, with two magnets on the back. One magnet comes off and what you do with a cover minder, again, I'll bring this diamond painting back into frame. Um, it's used to hold this plastic, plastic uh, paper back. So you just pull it back like that. Instead of having it kind of flop in and moving around, you put, um, I wish I had three hands. You put this part of the cover minder on top and you take the magnet and put the magnet underneath just like that. And it holds that, um, you can see it's stuck on there. It holds that plastic pack out of your way. I actually don't work on diamond paintings this way. What I do is I cut a row of the plastic film off completely. Then I put release papers down, which are double-sided uh, double non-stick papers, and then I'll put this over top if I need to secure it uh, when I'm no longer working on the section. So that's a cover minder. Now, there are times you're going to see this cover minder arrive and the magnets are off floating in the bag. That's okay. That happens. All you need to do is take a little bit of glue, and I uh, use super glue because it's fast um, drying. I put a little dab on it, stick the one magnet there, hold it for 10 seconds, and I'm good to go. Um, so I think it's an easy fix if the magnets come off. It's just probably the changes of heat in the shipping process. Uh, this last thing here is tweezers. Now, you may see a couple different variety of tweezers. There's these black branded ones, and then Diamond Art Club also uh, had some pink ombre ones for a while. Um, they've since gone back to this black one. Uh, they work, they're exactly the same, just a different color. You're only going to find this in your square diamond painting kits. You're never going to find it in a round diamond painting. Uh, the purpose of these is some people like to place their squares down on their canvas using them. They find that their placement is more uh, straight. Um, I personally don't use it for that. I use it to pop diamonds off the canvas if, they're, if they've gone on funny or if they're in the wrong place. And then I also use it to uh, scoop out wax, uh, old wax to replace. They are super, super sharp, sharp enough to pierce skin. So be careful. Always keep this protective cover on them and keep them out of reach from kids. Okay. That is it for this toolkit. So these are the two toolkits that you're going to see. You may see, I should say. Um, I know a lot of new people always post that they're upset when they don't have this fancy toolkit with the cover minder and the washi tape, but it just depends when the diamond painting was produced in their factory. Okay. Oh, I did forget to show you this tray. Now, this tray um, has since been upgraded again. So um, you may have, you may receive this one, which is clear resin with some gold sparkle. And you may also see this little thing floating around in the bag. This thing is called a stopper. Its purpose is to fit in the spout of the tray just to prevent diamonds from falling out. Now, as you can see, this one is super hard to, to get in. Um, they've since upgraded this tray because 
people were complaining that they were cracking. If you try, try to shove this in um, over and over again, eventually it's just going to cause stress on this plastic and it is going to crack. So they've since upgraded this tray to a white one, uh, same size, just white. Okay, um, but this tray is works very well. It's it's bigger than the typical um, diamond painting trays. You can see the size difference there. Okay. Um, so again, that's that's it for the kit. So if you do get the white one, you're gonna get um, washi tape and a cover miner. Now, mistakes happen sometimes in the um, process of. Um, I'm assuming it's a machine that puts these toolkits together. Um, they may forget to pop in a washi or a, a cover minder. It's, it's again not purposeful. It's just just happens, right? Um, if you buy a diamond painting kit that's been on the site for quite a while. Um, meaning it, it was produced uh, a while ago before the upgraded kits, you may get this clear one here, okay? Again, it comes with absolutely everything you need. Um, but I just wanted to film this short video because uh, I got two new kits in that, that had each toolkit, and I thought that's a good opportunity to shoot a short video uh, for anybody who is new to Diamond Art Club and uh, is wondering why their toolkit looks different from others. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope y'all have a great day and happy diamond painting and I will see you in the next one.